I swear, every day we hear more and more crazy news about Rise of Skywalker, and it just seems like <clears throat> it's just becoming more and more crazy every day. I mean, it's, it's it, this this article here, okay? You're going to hear something in this article that is just going to make you laugh, shake your head, just be like, really? This is what they're deciding to do with, with Rise of Skywalker? This is crazy, guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this article here. Emperor Palpatine's true motives in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker have been revealed. Now, I know there was a uh, there was a bunch of like uh, leaks that came out recently about um, about Rise of Skywalker. I don't remember this particular thing being in those leaks. I could be wrong though, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of preface this with that. There's been endless speculation about how, how Emperor Palpatine fits into Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Sources close to We Got This Covered, the same ones who told us Marvel was developing a She-Hulk show and that Ewan McGregor was returning as Obi-Wan, both of which have been confirmed, have explained to us exactly how Palpatine slots into Rise of Skywalker. It'll par apparently be revealed that he never died in Return of the Jedi after all, basically completely making Darth Vader's entire story um, null, just completely meaningless pointless which is just an absolute disgrace to the character of darth vader anakin um and has been hi in hiding all this time recuperating from his fall and rebuilding his army by the time so he's been just chilling out apparently in the uh what what is it called, called the um the unknown regions or whatever apparently he's been just chilling out there i don't know um whacking the stick or something, <laughs> rebuilding his army and waiting to, uh, to come back. Uh, it's just, it's just so stupid, man. This is such a stupid idea. It's it really, really is, especially making this it, it just it kind of cramming this into the last film of the, uh, to the last film of this trilogy. Really? Really? It's, it's, it doesn't even make sense, right? When you have The Last Jedi and then you go to suddenly having the Emperor coming back and he's been apparently rebuilding his armies and he has all these crazy new plans and ideas and, you know, all these plans for the, the galaxy and stuff. He's like, uh, he's like Elizabeth Warren <laughs> of <laughs> just, just in hiding here of the, in the, in the Star Wars galaxy. It's just, it's, it's just ridiculous, but that's not even the most ridiculous part. Okay. By the time of rise, he'll have amassed a dangerous legion of red storm troopers, the Sith troopers that have previously been revealed. Okay. Brace yourselves, guys. Brace yourselves. Now, here's the really interesting part. Palpatine will then go to Kylo Ren and get him to try to bring Rey to the dark side. The reason why he's doing this? It's because Daisy Ridley's heroine, Rey, is actually his granddaughter, and he wants her to be his latest apprentice in his never-ending quest to conquer the galaxy. Ray, according to according to this potential, this potential uh, plot point of Rise of Skywalker, is Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter. If that isn't the dumbest thing you have ever ever heard, I don't know what is. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Where exactly did Emperor Palpatine have his secret family and all all this time? Um, how did Rey end up as his granddaughter? Uh, it's just it's just ridiculous. And it's so contrived, so forced. It's just so obvious that they're trying to do whatever they can to draw people back into Star Wars. That is exactly what's happening here. And, okay, let me just say this. I might not have had much as much of a problem with this if this was episode 8, right? Like, if this is the type of stuff that they were building up to in episode 8 from Force Awakens, I might not have had much of a problem with this. But the fact is, we had episode 8, and episode 8 was all about let the past die, kill it if you must, forget the past, forget the, the original characters, all of that type of stuff. Forget it all. This is new Star Wars. This is Disney Star Wars. Uh, that's, that's the mindset that they were trying to establish with The Last Jedi, you know? And now, apparently, 
all of that doesn't mean anything anymore. And now apparently we're supposed to forget all about that and we're supposed to remember the past. Because apparently the past is super, 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 uber, uber, pooper important again. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's this this entire trilogy has been just a complete mess. An absolute mess and just an embarrassment. It's just been an absolute embarrassment to the, the name of Star Wars. To to the, the name of Lucas. To the fans. All of that type of stuff. It's just ridiculous, man. Um. Anyway, there's not really much else here who knows if this is actually true or not this is just coming from from sources that have uh, that have actually um you know revealed some other things that that came true and stuff so it's possible this might be true but anyway i just wanted to let you guys know about this let me know in the comments below what you think about this what do you think about the idea of ray suddenly randomly out of nowhere being emperor palpatine's granddaughter just so weird saying that out loud Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.